the expectation and the need for treatment for Alzheimer's disease is paramount. As we were just saying, there are, there's a growing need for this. This is going to ruin our population and ruin our finances and our health care um, if we don't do something about it. Uh, if we think about the five million people who have Alzheimer's disease now, by 2040 we're going to have double that. And if we just think about the New York City area and think about the caretakers as well as the patients, we've got one in five New Yorkers dealing with Alzheimer's disease by 2050. So we better do something about it. And the need and expectation and the amount of research in the area is just burgeoning, but we still don't have a cure. The expectation of every drug and the drugs that have come up to the point so far um, have been helpful, but they're still not curing Alzheimer's disease. The best way of treating Alzheimer's disease is not to have it at all. Could we prevent it even before the disease process starts? That research is looking into lifestyle, looking into the role of insulin, making sure we're not obese, making sure our heart is good, making sure our arteries are good, and we're now learning that that plays an enormous part in at least slowing down or even not starting the disease. There's something about our lifestyle that we now know is contributing to the development and or the progression of Alzheimer's disease. So a lot of research is in that area of let's see what we can do in the whole body system, not just going on in the brain, to treat Alzheimer's disease. And exercise is one, eating right is one, and those are now playing a great role. What has moved to enormous uh, degree is understanding the disease. This is a fascinating disease, and that's the scientist in me that keeps interested in that. Um, but we don't always have the mechanisms to say, okay, now we're going to be able to treat it. I think there's a lot of new avenues, and the science is talking about the different avenues of how to treat this disease. We knew all along that there was one neurotransmitter that was depleted, acetylcholine. There are the cells that are making acetylcholine in an area called the nucleus basalis of Minert are dying. So we had less acetylcholine in the brain. The characteristic pathological features of Alzheimer's disease are the neuritic plaques and neurofibrillary tangles that you see under a microscope. And these get more and more and more and increase as the person becomes more and more demented. The other areas of research are going in what can we do to minimize, stop, or somehow minimize, minimize the neuritic plaques. So these are plaques that are dense uh, proteins that are accumulating in the brain. Some, some research is saying, well, let's stop it, let's stop the formation, let's figure out a way to dissolve it, and that's another direction of some of the research. Um, that's getting very close now. It's very exciting what's going on in that direction, and that's where some of the vaccines are working, which is to diminish the amyloid, this amyloid plaque that's in the brain.